So hello friend, welcome to Twitter Networks. My name is Adversary Francis. In this video, we are going to see how to configure BGP AS path depending. As we already know, the AS path is the fourth BGP attribute and it's a well-known mandatory attribute. In other words, the path with the shortest AS path list is more desirable. Means uh, if router one want to reach the 30 dot network, router one will use uh, the this uh, CDN 4 slash 1 exit path in order to reach the 30 dot network because it has the less, less number of autonomous system. Okay. Uh, but uh, as, our require, as per our requirement, we want router 1 to reach the 30 dot network via CDN 5 slash 4 slash 5 from router 6, router 5, router 4 means AS6506, AS6505, AS6504 in order to reach the 30 dot network. This is what we are going to configure. And also, the return traffic from the means router 3 want to reach the 10 dot network, which is on router 1. Router uh, router 3 will use the this uh, this leg, serial 4 slash 1, because it has the less number of uh, AS. We want, uh, uh, our requirement want that uh, in order to reach the 10 dot network, router 3 uh, also use the same path which uh, router 1 use in order to reach the 30.1.1.1 network means if router 3 want to reach the 10 dot network router 3 will use the uh, serial 4 slash 2 means AS6504, AS6505, AS6506 in order to reach the 10 dot network this is what we are going to configure so first we going to configure the IP addressing then we configure IBGP here and EBGP pairings and then we configure um, AS path repenting. Okay. So starting from router 1, configure terminal. Router 2 is uh, router 1 is having uh, three interfaces, two serial and one fast You can see. Okay, now on router 2, router 2 is also having three interfaces, two serial, one fast Ethernet. Actually, uh, every router is having three interfaces, two serial, one fast Ethernet. You can see the topology. Now on router 2, router 2, configure terminal, serial 4 slash 0, 4 slash 1, and fastness 0 slash 0. Now on router 3, on router 3, okay. configure terminal, the IP addressing 3.1, 2.2 and 1.1 on fastnet with slow server. Router 4, configure terminal. Two serial interfaces, 3.2, 4.1, and 1.1 on fast nets, less less zero. Now on router 5, 5, configure terminal, you can see the IP addressing. Now router 6, Terminal. So let's verify the IP address six with the help of show IP interface brief command. You show brief. Okay. Up, up. Okay. On the outer two. You show IP interface okay. good. Now on the outer three. We show IP interface three. Okay. Now router four. Okay, three. And router five. Two IP three. And router six. Router six. We show Okay. As of now, we have to fully configure the IP addresses. Now, 
we are going to configure router one IBGP at EBGP PRX. I see the router BGP AS6505, which is router one and router two are in AS6501. BGP neighbor 1.2, which is the in same AS, is an IBGP pairing and neighbor 192.168.6.1 remote AS6506, which is this router six. Router 6 is a BGP AS6506. Okay, can see the network command. Now on router 2. Router 2. Let's see. Router BGP6501. Neighbor. Which is a IBGP neighbor. Router 1. And another neighbor is. 1.2.2, uh, which is router 3, it's in AS6503. You can see the neighborship is up between router 1 and router 2, both are in the same AS. Now on router 3. The router 3 is in AS6503 and have two EBGP neighbors 6504 which is router 4 and 6501 which is this router 2. You can see the neighborship is up between uh, between router 2 and router 3 means the neighborship is up between AS6501 and AS6503. Now router 4. Router 2 is also having two neighbors, both are EBGP neighbors. You can see the neighbor 6503 means router 3 and 6505 which is 4.2 which is router 5. You can see the neighborship is up between router 4 and router 3 means AS6504 and AS6503. Now on router 5. Router 5, Router 5 is having two neighbors, both are, both are EBGP neighbors. You can see the neighborship is up between Router 4 and Router 5. Okay, now on Router 6, Router 6. Okay. Router 6. You can see the neighbor 6.2, which is uh, router 1. Uh, and another one is 6.505, which is router 5. You can see the neighbor ship is up between here 6.506 and 6.501. And 6506 and 6505 is. Yes. Let me start from router 1. Show IP EGP. Show IP. Can see? The 10 dot network, 20 dot network, 30 dot network, 40 dot network, 50 dot network, and 60 dot network. And you can see the, the path. Okay, if we, if router one want to reach the 40 dot network, it has two paths. You can go via 6506, 6505, and then 6504. And the best part is AS6503 and AS6504. Means it can, router one can reach this uh, 
40 dot network from there router one one two if router one one two reach the 40 dot network it can go from here so by router three okay via six five zero three and six five zero four so now we are going to target this 30 dot network if uh, our router show ip route pgp can see here somewhere okay this 30 dot network we are going to target this 30 dot network show ip pgp 30 dot one oh one oh one and see the best part is via router two is the next uh, AS6503 because it has the less number of AS. The outer one can also go from uh, 6506, 6505, 6504, but, uh, but this route is uh, having uh, more AS than the serial 4 slash 1. Okay. But our requirement is router 1. Now we have to write an access list with here. Access list uh, one permit thirty dot zero mask zero dot five five dot five five dot five five five. Okay. Now the route map route app. Um, we are using the name Inc. I N K. So permit permit ten. Of the match the IP address. We use the name here express one so one and set the local preference that local preference okay three hundred that's a yeah two fifty two fifty Exit. Okay, route map. Inc. Permit. Twenty. Exit. Okay. So <coughs> now uh, voucher. PCP six five zero one. Uh, neighbor. The neighbor is one ninety two one sixty eight six dot one. Okay. So one ninety two one sixty eight. 6.1 and the route map the name is inc and in okay in that's it now clear i clear ip pgp soft you can use this command, but uh, I'm using clear IP PCP only this. I'm using the hard command, but uh, you will use this clear IP PCP soft. Okay. Now let's see. First, uh, we show show access list. First. Okay, here's the access list and the show route map. You can see that here is the route map. Okay, now show IP route PCP and see the 30 dot network via 192, 168, 6.1. Now router 1 can Reach the 30 dot network using this AS6506, then AS6505, then AS6504, after that AS6503. Let me. Okay, now. Now, show ID, BGP, 30 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1. You can see the best part is this. Via 6506. 6505, 6504, 6503. Okay, let's uh, trace the route. Trace. 
copy the one, the one, the one. You can see R is traveling. 6506, 6505, 6504, and then it reached the 30.101.network. Now we want the return traffic should also use the same path. Means uh, when we try to reach the 30 dot network from router 1, router 1 use the AS 6506, 6505, 6504, and 6503 in order to reach the 30 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 network. Now we want that uh, the return traffic should also use the same path. Means uh, 6503, 04, 05, 06, and 10.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1. So now we are using the AS path right now. Okay. So first we configure the access list on router 2. Access list uh, 10. Uh, permit 10.0.0.0. Wildcard mask 0 .0 .0. Okay, now the uh, route map, route map uh, name should be any we choose uh, Cisco, Cisco, the permit, permit 10, permit 10. Match IP address. What we use an access list tag. Okay, so tag. Set AS path. You see the pending and tag. So depend. What we use here is six five zero one, six five zero one, six five zero one, six five zero one. Okay, now exit route map Cisco to permit twenty. Okay, now router BGP six five zero one and the neighbor. The neighbor is one ninety two one sixty eight. Uh, two dot one, two dot two. Okay, one ninety two, one sixty eight, two dot two. The um, route map, uh, Cisco. You can say out. Okay. Exit. Exit. Okay. Now clear IP BGP. So it will take a uh, few seconds. Now, when we try to ping from 30 dot network, let me see. Show IP BGP 10.1.1.1. You can see the best part is, you can see the best part is 6504, 6505, 6506, and then 6501. Let's see trace Space, okay, space uh, tender one oh one dot one. You can see our router three is using the same path with uh, router uh, router four, router five, router six, and router one in order to reach the twenty dot network. I hope you guys understand the, the AS path depending configurations. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, there soon I'm going to upload some SD WAN uh, video series and quality of service series. After that, we are going to upload some network automation series. So make sure you subscribe this channel and thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much.